Of all the West African style stews out there, turkey stew has got to be one of my favourite stews. It's actually the first stew I ever learned how to cook all the way back in secondary school, so it's definitely a good one for beginners. Here's how to make it. So we're going to start off with preparing our pepper mix. So first of all, you want to get all the vegetables that you're going to use for your pepper mix. So here I am just roughly chopping up half of an onion, two medium tomatoes and also some peppers. So I'm using one bell pepper and also one romano pepper. I'm also adding the scotch bonnet. You can't forget the scotch bonnet. Use as many as you like, but remember to keep the seeds in if you really want that extra heat. So here I'm adding it all to a baking tray. I'm going to spritz it with some spray oil, add a little bit of salt, and then I'm going to grill this for about 20 minutes. Here I've got some smoked turkey that you can just pick up from your local African Caribbean food market. So I'm just going to wash this smoked turkey and then cook it up in the microwave. You can also cook it up in the grill. This is what your vegetables should look like after they've been grilled. You see that they are nice and blackened. Then you want to grab your blender and we're going to start to prepare our pepper mix. So I'm going to start off with a can of plum tomatoes and then I'm going to add all of those vegetables that we just grilled and then you want to blend them down but you want to make sure that the mix is still a little bit rough. You don't want to blend it down until it is completely smooth. Just chopping up the other half of that brown onion and that is going to form the base of our stew. Then I'm gonna grab a pot. You wanna heat up some vegetable oil in the pot. Heat this up for a few minutes and then you want to drop in the onions that we just sliced up along with a few tablespoons of tomato paste. So cook this down for a few minutes until you see that the onions are a bit translucent and then you want to add in your blended pepper mix from earlier on. You want to add a little bit of water in that same blender and then I season mine just using two Maggi cubes but you can also add some curry powder or some thyme or bay leaves if you like. Growing up my mum always kept the seasoning of our stews very simple so that is clearly what has influenced me and honestly you don't need to do too much to have food that tastes good. Obviously you need to season it but there is such thing as overdoing it. I cooked that stew down for about 15 minutes and then I'm going to add in my turkey pieces as well as any juice that has been created from microwaving it or from grilling it. And once you get the turkey in there you're going to get all of those delicious smoked turkey flavours also absorbing into the stew and it makes it taste really delicious and very unique compared to your usual chicken stew or your usual beef stew. You want to cook this down for a final 20 minutes and then your stew is ready. I say this about every single stew but I think turkey stew might just have to be my favourite stew because I just absolutely am addicted to the taste of smoked turkey. It's also a really good stew if you are a beginner. It is very simple to make, the meat is already pre-cooked it is just very straightforward so it's a good one to get used to if you're just about learning how to cook stew but really all stews are cooked in very much the same way you have your pepper mix you have your meat and you're just mixing this all together really if you like this recipe please remember to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one